Well, the Plymouth Ice Center has had no success getting bond money from the state of Minnesota. But renovation and improvements to the facility are going on anyway. We get more from Eric Nelson, who joins us now. Eric? Yeah, Alex and Mike, arenas and stadiums age in dog years, and the Plymouth Ice Center is no different. When the venue opened 20 years ago, it was state of the art. Today, it is outdated. Currently, the Ice Center is getting a major makeover. It's all part of a three-year renovation that is being paid for by user fees and reserve funds. We've got a, a beautiful asset here. We have tournaments coming up, and it, it just needs a little bit of up, upgrade, and we're uh, serious about taking care of that, that valuable asset. And not only that, but enhancing what we do here, getting more tournaments, generating more business for the community, and so forth. Things are heating up inside the ice center these days as construction crews are busy fixing up the facility. The arena has three rinks and the main sheet is undergoing serious cosmetic changes. The old sand floor will soon be replaced by concrete and the venue is going to use ammonia based refrigerant instead of Freon for ice coolant. These moves will save energy and money long term. The facility currently pays $1,000 a month in utility bills. The ice center is also switching from Olympic size rinks to professional ice sheets, which are 15 feet smaller in width. The demand to skate on a professional ice sheet is great, and to skate on an Olympic ice sheet, uh, the adults don't like it, the youth don't like it, the children do not like it, so, so it's used much, much less. When we host tournaments, everyone tries to shy away from the Olympic as much as possible. We have three ice sheets. Now Plymouth has submitted a final bonding request for $1.3 million, but no matter what happens, the target completion date for the ice center is in late September.